Hi everybody, I've been really sick, so I'm sorry this vlog is up late, and it's a little bit choppy, um, but I still hope you enjoy it. So Jackson and I have been shopping and I'm waiting in line. Jackson went to the bathroom. I'm still not feeling that good. I'm feeling really, really bad right this minute. Um, but hopefully I can get out of here soon and get home. So I just got out of the bath and you know what's odd? This little one right here, Cupcake. She um, just doesn't like people, but ever since I've been sick, she's been right beside me. She's kind of piled up on my bed, which I've been in a lot today, so please overlook that it's not made, um, but she's just been kind of kind of hanging out, haven't you, baby doll? What you doing, Cupcake? Hmm? You want to look at the camera? Say hello. Hello, YouTube. Hi. I need my eye cleaned out. Anyway, um, I'm going to like close my computer, find something on TV, I'm going to bed. I still feel really bad, but um, I'm trying, I really am like trying to will myself to feel better. It's just not exactly working, so we'll see what a good night's sleep will do. Scott's got to work tomorrow, which makes me very, very unhappy. I'm not going to flip the camera around because I look crazy bad. Um, but he has to work tomorrow on a Sunday, so, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow. But I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. So I have been sick, but I'm brushing out Romeo. Um, and I'm using this tool that I got yesterday. Um, we've had, we have one of these somewhere. Um, but we can't find it, and I've kind of looked without it, but wait till you see how much hair I get up with this. And you can see, he don't really mind. See, like, it just keeps taking off all that loose hair, so, like, if you have a golden retriever like we do, or maybe a chow, or a big furry cat. This might be very helpful for summer to get all that shedding off. I mean, look at that. Um, and I just keep putting it in this little bowl here. I know it's kind of gross, but I'll throw it away. Um, but you just keep running it over them. And it pulls off all that undercoat and loose hair. And you can see, though, why I'm outside. I think I still have a fever today, having a having a hard day again, but getting up and getting something to do, like even just this, it's not that stressful on me, and it takes my mind off of feeling so bad. But, I mean, this just gets off insane amounts of hair. And he really doesn't mind, that's for sure. I think he thinks it feels good. I would totally recommend a Persian for any family. These cats are so laid back. You know, they make great family pets. Romeo is more like a person than a cat. Some of the wind is taking some of that hair, but whatever. At least we're outside. And he's not an outside cat, just in case you're new here. You don't know me or our family or our animals. Romeo does not live outside. Um, he's out here just getting cleaned up a little bit. But he is absolutely an indoor cat only. 
Unless he's in my arms or out on the table with us here. He is indoor cat only. Is that right? Your eyes are watering. Mm -hmm. We noticed last night that Gabby, one of our females cats, had her two, her two eye teeth, the two, you know, like pointy ones, are, um, are almost black. Like, not completely black, but black enough where I think I need to get her to the vet sometime very, very soon. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with her, but I'm going to have her teeth cleaned for sure. My vet said, with cats, that they don't notice as many, like, um, um, heart infections and stuff from gingivitis and bad teeth. But they do notice it in dogs. Like, if your dog has really, really bad teeth, um, that infection spreads to their heart and causes all kinds of problems. So... Yeah, you might want to get your doggy's teeth checked. Sorry, get your leg down. Romeo's going to be like 20 pounds lighter by the time we're done. Ooh, no, get that back in your tail. Especially over here in this big hairy mess. So it's another wet, nasty night, but I definitely enjoy the rain. I'm trying to feel better. I'm trying to will myself to feel better. We'll see what happens. Um, I got a busy week, and I'm not feeling good, so it's not going to be very beneficial to be sick. So trying to get better, and um, this is going to help me sleep a little better tonight. So yesterday, Monday, I felt my worst, so I finally gave in, went to the doctor, which is where I'm at right here. I didn't want to show anybody. They gave me a shot in the office and wrote me some prescriptions to feel better. I went right to Walgreens and picked them up. I just, you know, well, gave up. I, I couldn't take it anymore, um, and I'm thankful that I went and got some medicine that will help. Hey everybody, happy, happy Monday to you all. I know that this vlog is going to be going up late. Um, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let me figure out how to set the camera up because I don't want to hold it. That's better. So, um... You know, I've been sick for a while, and I finally made it to the doctor today and got a bunch of antibiotics, and this is kind of what sick looks like for me. Um, it's been a very rough few days, and um, I haven't felt like videoing. Um, I did make some videos and got them up kind of okay over the last few days. The... Um, food hall was pretty grumpy and and I feel really sick right now um, 
Um, so it's been, God, I look awful, you guys. Um, it's been a rough few days. And during that rough few days, I have kind of lived on the couch and, you know, in my bed like any other sick people would. And the boys have done pretty well with trying to take care of themselves. Um, but the house isn't like where I want it to be. And tomorrow we have this major inspection being done on our home and like on our family and, and on us. And that means that through the fever and all the sweating, because I, I just feel so sick, um, I have to get this house cleaned up today, tonight, tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so... Um, Scott is on his way home from work. It's later in the evening right now. And I am going to, like, I've already done almost everything upstairs. And, um, I just got some laundry to put away. And I can do that this evening. And I need to vacuum. But that can be done tomorrow morning. Which I kind of prefer it be done the morning of. Because the cats and their hair and all that kind of stuff. But, um, I have the kitchen and the living room, um, that I really need to clean up. Um, Scott wants to pick up the garage just a little bit, but we have a lot to do, and I've just kind of been working on one thing, taking a break, working on one little job, taking a break, and trying to get as much done as I can, um, yeah, I've been up since about 7, and I was at the doctor around 8.15, um, and I was back home by about 11 after picking up um, prescriptions and all that. So, and I'm just not in good spirits right now, but I'm going to push on and clean the house and um Jackson's been helping a lot so his room looks really good he's cleaning the bathroom and um upstairs so that's nice I cleaned my bathroom already and the bedroom and desk and all that's cleaned up and um now I'm gonna do a really good job in the kitchen and before I go to bed, do the living room. So that's a life around here. <laughs> Told you it's real life. And real life includes the flu and not feeling well. Um, I got sick so much that I think the stomach acids hurt a tooth back here that maybe just had a tiny cavity or something. So on top of everything, I've been dealing with a hurt tooth and I just started, like, after I got sick, so I got sick a lot. Um, I'm just having a rough day. I've had a rough few days, but, um, that's why the videos are kind of behind, and I'll get there, I promise, so. I'm gonna hop off here and stop talking and start working. I need God to give me strength. And um, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. Bye. So I am busy. I got the plants in the sink. Um, you know, doing their thing and getting watered. And I have been cleaning like a maniac. Um, wiping everything down. Um, and I got a lot more to do. I'm just kind of starting. But, um... You know, we we just want to make a good impression, and I I don't think I can make my house perfect, you guys. We're just not that kind of family. We don't have the perfect museum, you know, where you can't touch anything kind of house. We just don't have that, and um, um, you know, hold on. There we go. This is easier. There we go. I can talk while I work. Um, we just, 
We just want to make a really, really good impression. And our house really isn't that bad, but we're trying to make it like extra good. And you know, all the stuff that we have to do um, in our life or this, this one or that one, the kids is all worth it and they're the loves of our lives and pretty much the best thing Scott and I have ever done. So it's important to make a big effort and um, that's what we're trying to do. Little Brittany, my daughter, painted that little owl for me. And it's not it's not um, perfect, but it's beautiful and it's perfect to me. And I like seeing it sit out, so I just sit it kind of out with the other owls. Kind of the same colors. And now on to this side. So I'm doing a voiceover because my radio was going. Our microwave was dirty, which I hate. So I just took some vinegar, about a cup, and poured it into a bowl. Um, and then I added just a little bit of water. I put it into our microwave, which you can see the spots from Jackson not covering stuff up. It annoys me so bad. But I simply just turned it on and let the microwave do its thing for about three minutes. And then then I wiped it out and ta-da, it is clean. I'm so happy that job is done and looking nice. Okay, the kitchen is done um, besides mopping. And I'm gonna get up and mop tomorrow morning. I do have some vinegar out on um, the counter, but that's for tomorrow. Um, but I've gotten that done. Um, we Scott came home and mowed the yard and um, then it started raining probably still raining um, and um, we pretty much cleaned almost everything this little living room over here needs a little work but we're in there all the time so I'll clean that tomorrow um, we have till 2 p.m. tomorrow so I want to you know get up early and get a few things done um, I ran out today to Walmart because um, when you um, uh, hmm, I want to see how to say this. If when you when you um, become or when you're applying to like take care of a child um, through the state, a foster care type of system, there are very definitive rules about what you can and can't have in your home. And, you know, I'm very limited on what I can say. I can't say any names or anything like that. But one of the rules is, is you have to keep medication locked up. Now, we've actually taught Jackson to be responsible and take his medicine. And, you know, I always check his pill. I, let, I put um, five pills in a bottle and um, in both of these bottles because he takes two medications. And, um, you know, I check every morning to see if he's had his pill and every night to see if he's had his pill and I can tell that by the count um but um that is not not allowed so I had to go out and I had to buy something that locked and I thought this looked cuter than a lot of the safes and it's let me turn it around and see it won't it won't open and I thought it was just cuter and we're just gonna leave it sit like you know somewhere where we can get to it easily because in the mornings, um, a lot of times Scott will have to give him his medicine um, if I'm busy or vice versa, so we need to be able to get to it. I think that's okay for at least right now. Um, yeah, it's just been a very, very a long day. I cleaned the dog bowls real well. Um, it'll look better in the morning because we're going to you know, get up and do a lot more. I cleaned all the cabinets, the stove, I cleaned out the refrigerator. Um, there's a lot of rules about the refrigerator, um, 
and you know there's certain ways food's got to be stored um, there are certain rules about your pantry where you need um, two weeks worth of like pantry food so I would say that this is two weeks I would say I mean this is longer than two weeks um, yeah so that's good and um, you know that's our little coffee area it's not really really fancy but we have everything um, we need out here and um, I wish it was bigger because I mean I guess I could get rid of this um, but I love that tea but we we tend to have a lot of stuff on our coffee bar um, it's just the way it goes um, there we go that might be work um, and um, yeah so that works and I just organized the freezer and that's something they'll be looking at and yeah I'm not going to take this stuff off the chalkboard wall because that's stuff we got going on and that's life um, but now I'm going to race up the steps even though I don't feel that good and um, get my husband get in the shower before my my husband uses up all the hot water so that's where I'm going Yay, laundry. Yuck. I get so tired of laundry. Um, if I do a little bit, you know, each day, it's um, not near as bad. So, I'm going to go put some of this up. And I've got to hang those up. And I've got a few more to fold in the basket. So, I'm getting there. Baby steps. Hello everybody, I am feeling just a little better, not a ton, um, I'm getting ready to take a shower, my husband is on the other side of that wall taking a shower, listen, can you hear it, I am getting some clothes, I'm taking a shower, I need to put laundry away, it's one of the tasks for tonight, things just don't stop, um, I know I had like my little on-camera breakdown, but I'm trying to to power through and um, you know feel better. And the reason Scott and I are taking showers, I think I'll put pajama pants on. It's getting chilly tonight. Um, the reason is is because um, if I don't, he will fall asleep in the shower, and I will not have hot water for a very long time. So. Thankfully, our water heater is big, and I don't sleep in the shower. My husband does. Um, so, I am, um, you know, going to get in, clean up, get all the sweat off me, and this probably would have made me feel a lot better earlier, but um, I had a lot to do, and I'll be back. I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes, but I'm going to save this tonight and get this video uploaded tonight, and um, yeah, go on from there. So, I'm out of the shower. It felt amazing. This cart one handed. I'm getting out just a small little Smithfield um, boneless pork roast. And I'm going to let it thaw out tonight. And it just does fine sitting out on the counter and thawing out. I've never had a problem. Frizz organization is still working great. Um, and that can kind of be cooking um, tomorrow in the crock pot while. We get busy and you know do everything um, I did not cook dinner tonight like we all fended for ourselves because um, you know all of us were doing different things Scott was mowing the yard till after nine Jackson was um, um, cleaning with me and he ate SpaghettiOs which is not too healthy but I understand it um, and I am starving too now and I don't know what I'm eating you guys I'd really like like a big juicy steak and baked potato and I do have steaks but I'm not just going to thaw them out for me. There's some leftover turkey I might eat or some leftover pasta. Um, that water really looks good too. And that's why, by the way, I haven't been buying water is because this has been working for our family. Um, and you can see we drink a lot of it so I'm really happy, happy, happy about that. Um, but I gotta find me something to eat. So pasta made the cut, and that's my dinner tonight. 
Okay, guys. So here I am. I'm upstairs. I'm at my desk. There's my dinner. It's kind of sad eating up here. But in order to do some stuff for our family, having a family dinner tonight was just really not possible. Um, with Scott working late and then doing the yard work and us doing so much around the house, we all kind of ate at our own pace. Right now it's 11 p.m., and I'm eating dinner, so, and I'm eating carbs, which my mom would be ready to kill me over that. But, I'm here at my desk because I have some work to do. Um, for the person coming to learn about our family um, and our home, I'm making a folder for. I'm going to include quite a few things. The only thing I wish is that I would have went out and made copies so I could have just gave them to her. Um... I might take a picture of some of the stuff and upload it to my computer and print it out. I do have a scanner, but it's all down there and it doesn't work very well. Um, but um, we have, you know, all afternoon I'm going to get up around um, 8 a.m. and finish stuff. But tonight I'm going to be working on this folder. I'm going to be saving this video. i got my editing up. And I'm going to also um, be burning some CDs of like different family moments when we've all been together which might help her get to know us a little bit better. I've never burned a CD in my life um, but um, I'm going to Google it and try to figure that out um, like tonight and I'm going to be printing a lot of stuff out so I'm going to be here for a couple hours probably and I'll probably not even get finished tonight and I will finish tomorrow. Let me like flip the camera around so I can say goodnight to you guys. Hey everybody, here I am. My hair is still wet and um, I had to turn off the desk lamp because it was making me look red. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Thank God that shot really helped. Otherwise, I don't think I could have done the home inspection tomorrow. I mean, I would have been there, but I would have just been crazy looking. Um, I've had a really rough few days and I've been laid up, and that's why there hasn't been any videos up. And I might include an intro, just film that in a minute, so you guys kind of know what you're getting. Because um, it's a little bit choppy. Um, I didn't record a ton, but then again, I recorded a lot today, so maybe, um, maybe there's more footage than what I thought. I wish I could give you guys like a full update and say blah, 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 blah about what's going on. You guys know I can simply not do that. Um, I think it's very inconvenient with our lifestyle, but it's not my decision. It's actually like state law. Um, and I'm respecting that. Obviously, I can't put out any names or anything like that. But I can tell you we're, we're working hard to do everything that's required of us um, for what we have to get done. And... It's a lot of work, and it's very discouraging at sometimes, and sometimes, you know, you feel positive, and it's just, like, scary being, you know, looked at under a microscope is scary and intimidating, and the people that we were 20 years ago really aren't the people we are today, and, you know, when you know better, you're supposed to do better, and I think Scott and I have like totally lived up to that during the course of our life so far and um we have a beautiful family and um you know trying to get situated because there's so many different rules that doesn't apply to like everyday you know normal families um applies in the situation and it requires more effort and dedication and honesty and work and we have been working like crazy and like I said I've been really sick and I'm sorry that I missed Monday's video at least I'm, I'm at least it's only gonna be one day right tomorrow's gonna be Tuesday so and that's when this video so I'm like a mess you guys like earlier, I haven't even looked at that clip yet, but I know I was like having a, a like a breakdown. I'm probably gonna make it blurry so you guys can see how bad I really looked when I'm getting to editing. And um, 
I've got a lot to do, so I can't sit here and chat very long. But we are, like, totally grateful for your prayers, love, support. And um, we need your prayers, love, and support for tomorrow afternoon. Um, somewhere around the 2 o'clock hour, we are, um, you know, um, being visited. And we want our home and, you know, to represent, you know, our family and our life. And we want... To have everything ready so you know we're prepared we have things to prepare them with and we're just trying and you know we can lay our head down on the pillow and say we we did our best and that's all you can ask for and um i've been just like really upset because i felt so bad and you know i felt bad that i couldn't make dinner and I felt bad that the laundry was piling up and it was just, it was just really hard because, you know, for all of us stay-at-home wives and moms, sick days are rare. Most of the time you got to fight through it. This time I simply couldn't. Um, I was just like so almost deathly ill and in a lot of pain and really upset that... The best thing I could do was to sleep as much as possible, and that wasn't even very, very much, but I tried, and, um, yeah, it's just, it's just been a mess. So, the videos are out of whack right now, but, um, I'll get back, you know, on schedule, even with the What's Cooking videos. Nothing's all for good. I'm not gone for good. I just had to recover, and we have a lot going on, so... That's it for now, and I'm going to jump off here. Well, I'm actually going to record an intro so you guys know before having to watch this end, you know, what the hell's been going on. But I love you guys, and I appreciate your comments. Let me know how you're doing in the in the comments, and um, yeah, we, we really appreciate all those love and prayers, and we don't even think we would have gotten this far without them. And we need them again. We need them, like, constant right now. Um, we also have a vacation coming up in 21 days. And um, I ordered some stuff from Etsy that will be in. And my planner video will be just a little bit late. I want to get that new stuff in to share it with you. Um, and then I'll do a, you know, um, plan with me video for June. Um, I haven't even done the family calendar for June, which is a little embarrassing, but being that I felt so, so bad, um, I just couldn't do it, and there's very few times when I'm that sick, um, that I can't make a video, um, I've made them, you know, like, deathly ill before, and, um, this time it, it won't be, so, um, here I am. And there I go. I'm out of here. I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, click on my name. You can get subscribed. Follow me along on my blog and all the social media, and you guys can get to know us better. And tell me anything you want about your week or whatever you're thinking or feeling or just say hi. I'd love to hear from you. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.